Oi you, it's time for another episode of Dorothy and the Dealer. Let's tune into the conversation. Take me on, take on me up, be gone, why don't you... No, I'm not going to try Man, and This is that. a good lead in to your resting bitch face. Let's talk about it. Because <laughs> you were about to go, I don't you to <laughs> Well, I was going to mention that I have watched some of the old... Did, were you <laughs> making a face? I've watched some of the old <laughs> podcasts, right? And the cameraman happened to be on me while you're talking. Right, yeah. And in my mind, right, you're like this. I'm intently listening. Yes, in it's your kind mind, of like, like that. <laughs> I'm intently listening to yeah. you, feeling quite comfortable. Yeah. But on video, it doesn't look like that. On video, it kind of looks like. <laughs> yeah, it looks my like. My face goes on, show me. Look, I mean, it's kind of like this. <laughs> and your, your eyes go across the. <laughs> It's not that bad. Yeah, it is. Uh, a, but, but I always think like, it, like it's wind. I think, oh, poor Mills. <laughs> poor Mills, she needs to fart. That's not true. It's not she true. She needs to fart I'm intently camera. listening to you. But if the cameraman panned to me today, I'm just going to try and be like this. <laughs> Do you think that'll work? <laughs> that's, your exe- that's more your executive look. <laughs> I have to be very mindful because it, I really don't feel yeah, as do. bad as it looks, you, and it looks you actually do because really my, bad. My resting face is like this. <laughs> right. Anyway. Right. So. Um, what are we talking about today? Well, <laughs> what are you going to talk about? Um, I know what we're going to talk about. Okay. I so know this how is stars do it because they just Botox the shit out of themselves. They're just like, <laughs> so their face is constantly like that. Okay. Well, not a current. That's right. good. <laughs> Okay, I wanted to talk about something, right? right? And I think it's important. So we're talking about money. Oh, I'm going to talk as about as money. As long as I think it's important. Um, we, I want to talk about money uh, today. In, and yeah. I know we've spoken about money, but there's so many different parts and topics and, mm. and, and concepts. So what I want to talk about Stick is a lot of, I know, what I want to talk about is a lot of people really feel that um, well, they, they don't, don't get, have yeah. enough money mm. to – make money or that they need money money in order to make money or to in order to be wealthy in order to have mm. abundance in their life i think maybe that's a better way to say it abundance in their life right anything was a better way to say it <laughs> <laughs> thanks no problem. um so but do you understand what i'm yeah. saying so a lot of people um i think there was a comment on one of your posts you you'd done some posts recently and somebody had said yeah but because you'd said something like oh i'd earned millions of you every you've earned millions of dollars yeah. in your life but where is it yeah well actually i haven't earned millions of dollars because i've only earned I've x only amount been, of I'm fifty thousand dollars a year yeah, for yeah. Blah, blah, blah. and um i think that the i think the point that we're making when we're saying that you've earned millions of dollars and where is it is more along the lines of money comes to you regardless of whether it's um in the form of thirty thousand dollars a year, or in the form of a hundred thousand dollars a year, or a million dollars a million thousand dollars a year, a <laughs> million a, thousand um, dollars. Um, uh, uh, regardless of how much it is, yeah. <laughs> regardless of how much it is, people have earn money, right? Yeah. But what's important is not how much people earn, but actually what they do with money. Yeah. And. Um, I think that I think this is a really important point because I've been working with some people because we you know we teach we teach the money principles yep. we do we, 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 we run a <coughs> seminar on it. but I've been talking to some people who said oh I came to your Excuse seminar me. but I haven't actually implemented the wealth principles because mm-hmm. I don't earn very much money and I'm like that's exactly the point yeah. of you doing these mm-hmm. it doesn't yeah. matter how much money you earn it's the principle. So I want to talk about the three main things of be- becoming wealthy in the three main areas. But the fact that it doesn't matter how much you earn in terms of well, the, the, money. I think that the, the point is the strategy works regardless of how much money you earn. Yes. That's the point. Yes. Okay. So, And I think that people think that the strategy is only going to work when I get more money. So they live in that land of cause and effect. When the money turns up, then I'm going to run my strategy. When the mo- and, and the problem then is when you're not running your own strategy, 
you have to run a, another else. somebody some other strategy or someone else's strategy and most of the time when you're running someone else's strategy that the ultimate strategy of that strategy is to take your money from you what do you mean explain if, i know if what you're you mean, not running explain. your own strategy yeah you have to run another strategy and the other strategy that is supplied to you will be the purpose of that strategy will be to actually take your money from you right yeah, does yeah. that make sense yeah, yeah. because the, you're not you, it's an organism needs to live yeah right so it has to be fed and if that organism is a government or a country it so if you're it, running the system this, that's the, yeah. the, that's the government system they're, they're gonna obviously it takes take it off money. you okay yeah so you've got to have your own system you've got to have your own so system. this is just one part of becoming wealthy or one part of making sure that your finances yeah, yeah. are in order yeah. is to have a system that yeah. works and, and it, but i think before that it's about realizing that everybody's in a system well, everybody uses a system. Yeah, everybody's. It, no, they're in a system. They're, this is a system. We're in a system. Well, it's got a system, a system of system. roads. Yes. It's got a, so it, it, it's it's got a tax system. It's got it's all of it's a system. And if and and so the point the question is is that are you running a system or is the system running you? Right. Yes. And it you, you when if you're going to run a system, it's got to be a system that's in accordance with you what you want. Right. And while you don't do that. Well, you're you're still you're going to be running something else. Yeah. Okay, so, but there is a system that, like in terms of, um, that you can. Well, now I've lost my train of thought. Have you? Yes, because I'm talking about. It wasn't all the pot you were smoking earlier <laughs> before we got on this camera. Um, let me think. I don't like it when you do that because you make it worse. <laughs> you're taking me away from my train of thought. Help me. <laughs> Now, I understand that there's a system that we are conditioned to run in terms of yep. money, you know, uh, whatever. But everybody's got a system or everybody's got a, a particular way that they organise their finances. So when I, I'm talking about system, I'm talking about organisation of your finances. Yes, yeah, totally. Right? So your organisation of your finances, everybody, regardless of how much you earn, you organise your finances to some degree in the sense that there may be no organisation and you just go in and you, um, as soon as you get paid, you spend it on X amount of you things You don't know or whatever, where you spend it. Or you don't know where you spend it or um, it goes straight to the bills or it goes straight to the rent or, you know, they, they, everybody runs a system. There is a system for organising your finances regardless of how, uh, how much you earn. You're always going to be organising your finances. So... But the way that we make sure that we, in terms of what we do is that your system has to run with the laws of nature. It can't just be that you are, um, uh, that there's no organisation in there. There has to be some level of organisation in there because money flows to where it's organised most. Money's going to go where there's more organisation. Would you agree? Yeah. Right? So the more organised you can be with your finances – the more money is going to flow into that space. Yeah. So I was just talking to a couple of people um, just yesterday when we were in Melbourne and they were saying, I don't have money, so I don't, I don't like I haven't been able to implement these wealth principles. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. <coughs> but actually this is exactly when you need to implement the wealth principles right. because you do have money. It's just that your perception says I don't have much money. Yeah. So you might be earning and these, this, um, you know, that you might be earning – $288 a week and 280 of that goes into rent or goes into the house or goes into something. But there's still organisation that can be had with all of that money, with that yeah. eight remaining dollars and with right. the, the, the system. Does yeah, that make sense? Totally. You can still put X amount of dollars into savings, X amount of dollars into paying yourself, X amount of dollars into the rent, X amount of dollars into the bills. It might be small and minimal amounts, but you can still do that, yeah, yeah. right? I, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I, I spoke to those people as well, and yeah. I said, I, I don't care if it's only ten cents. Yes, it's not about the amount that you put in. It's about the now. Principle. It's about the principle of actually. There's there's principles behind saving, which is you're starting to put yourself first. There's principles behind paying yourself first, as opposed to you know doing it any other way, making yeah. anything else more important. Your savings are the most important thing that you'll ever put your money to, because there's no risk in saving. Yes, you know, and and. So and it, so, 
It's about building the habit and breaking the old habit and embracing the new habit of the new you. Right. So one of the things that people say to me all the time or, or say often to me is, is that people think that in, this, in us focusing on the money that we're actually focusing on the money. We're actually not. We're focusing on the type of person you have to be yeah. in order to organise your finances. Correct. So. In organising that $288 in a system whereby you make sure that you're paying yourself first, you make sure that you're um, um, putting the money aside and you're in charge of it, it actually becomes not about the money. It becomes about the person that you have to become as a result of you handling the money, yeah. regardless of how much so, it is. Right. <coughs> so, you, excuse me, I, I just have a bit of a call at the moment. Sorry, microphone. So you <laughs> have to, um, you have to be a new you. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, which is... So people have this glass ceiling, right? This um, this elusive glass ceiling that they're not able to get past, right? Yeah. But they think to, to be able to get past it, they need more money. Yes. But no, it's your psychology has to get past yes. it. You have to get past it because inside of that bubble is your whole life. Outside of that bubble is new creation. Yeah. Nothing new can be created in the existing bubble or mindset or system or strategy or reason that you've been running. If you don't have a new reason, a new, a new, new thoughts and a new strategy, you will never create anything other than what you've already been creating the whole time. Yes. You understand? Yes. So they have to be able to get past that point. Yes, but the point, yeah, I think that we're, I don't know if we're... I need to, can we just cut that bit no. for a minute? <laughs> no. Well, because you keep going into the thoughts and reasons. No, I'm we're not, not the, even there dude, yet. I'm not into thoughts and reasons. We're not there yet. We're I'm trying talking to, about the bubble. But tell me about the in this bubble, yeah. right? <laughs> in this bubble. Does this help? <laughs> go away. Who who made this table closer? I liked it further away. Um. So. Oh, now I've lost it again. This Man, is not you helping. You've got to stop smoking pot. What the. F this is just not working for okay, me. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so I, I get that you're saying about this, that all the, the, there are the elements of creating wealth, but it's about the person that you have to be in order to be able to run a system that's your own. So there's a new person outside of that bubble that you got to be. That's exactly what I'm saying. You have to be able to get through that. You have to be that new person outside of that bubble. Yeah, okay. Do you, do you understand? Yeah, no, I understand And, and there's three things that it takes to do that, which you're going to talk about the second thing in a minute, right? But I just want to give an example about, about that as well, right? Yeah. That I was kind of alluding to earlier, well, but I was system. rudely interrupted. It's the system. Right, before you rudely interrupted yeah. me, right? So let's say... I sometimes... You know what? Mm. Sometimes it's a real struggle to keep up with what your brain is doing because I am like, okay, what's going on? So hopefully you'll catch me up Right, now. okay. <laughs> and so, I'll, I'll practice my... So... <laughs> <laughs> Go on. So let's say, so we're talking about, <coughs> you know, the person that you have to be, Yeah. right? Now, we all have this person that we're being and there's, you know, there's, there's a, a place that's out of this person that we're being that we want to be at. Yes. Right? And in that new place that we want to be at, there's a new you. Yeah. Right? So let's say you're trying to set your targets on that. So when you're saying that new you, what you're meaning is, um, I know I'm in this place, but I know I could be somewhere else. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I know there's outside of where, where I'm, I'm at, I'm there's at, more. There's something else. Yeah, there's yeah. something else for me to see, yeah. something else for me to have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? And we all have that hidden desire, that pull to yeah. get us there. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, uh, so... The feelings, habits, and emotions that have created the financial situation you're in have to adapt. They yes. have to change to get you there. Yes. Right? But if you have a place that you want to get to and you, you, you have a person that you want to be and you have experiences that you want to have, if you have money in the way... Oh, absolutely. You can never get there. Yeah, absolutely. So, so therefore... You, let's say you have this huge big dream that you you really want to get to. There's this huge place you want to get to. There's yeah. this, this dream you want to fulfill. You will pull back on that dream and you will shrink that dream backwards dependent on your delusions and illusions and, the, and, and your understanding of money. Yes. So if you're concerned about money, it's going to taint your dreams. Yes. Does that make sense? Absolutely. It, because money is a worry. So running running the correct... Um, system system eliminates the worries Absolutely. so you can build on the dreams and get past the glass ceiling yeah 
Because that makes you, yeah, but people absolutely. people want to go. Listen, when I get past the glass ceiling, then I'm going to organize my money. No, it doesn't matter how much bloody money you have. If you organize a system with it now, everything else will turn up. Absolutely, everything absolutely. Else will turn up. Because then that's a black microphone. You you're saying I'm about to say exactly the same thing <laughs> no, I'm that saying you're that we saying. Have been saying the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the point is, is that when you've got this this purpose and this, uh, and, and you want to fulfil something, if if you haven't organised your money, money keeps taking you off track. Totally. And in, and so instead of focusing on your vision, Link, yep. you're, you're my vision yep. at the moment. Money keeps taking me off track. That's then right. I can't I can't focus on what it because is I want to it's not just money. It doesn't just take your money off track. It takes yep. your energy off track. Yeah, yeah. You understand because there's emotion tied Absolutely. up around that. Yep. So money is just energy in motion. Yes. It's emotion. Yes. So your objective is to stabilize your emotion. Yes. Does that make sense? Wealthy people. People who are wealthy are more stable in their emotions around money. That's and that's the that's the massive ch- shift. It's got so, nothing but, to do with the, but, not as much to do with what they're earning. Mm, it's about their, their emotion, emotional stability. because when they're emotionally stable, yep. they actually have the ability to earn more. Because if that's you right. can't learn, if you haven't learned to handle the amount that you have mm-hmm. in terms of organization, then how will it give you more to that's organize? Right. That's right. That's so, right. so your so your emotions. We just probably need to take a moment and check. Yeah, your emotions are distorting, are distorting, and, and are, are disabling your ability to fulfill your dreams. Yes. If you're emotional around money, around money. This is why. But people go, you know, when I when I when, when I'm <laughs> wealthy, then I'm going to be stable. Yes. No, you have to be stable before you're wealthy. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. You yes. 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 You have to be emotionally yes. stable before. One hundred million percent. Yes. So, and the only way to stable your emotions is to stable your money. Yes. And, the, and and when you stable your money and stable your emotions, you basically when you stable your money and you st- stabilize your emotions, yes. your vitality goes up. Yeah. And your vision is able to increase. Absolutely. So th- then, what happens is is that your thoughts become clear. Yes. Well, then. So well, what happens is so the system is one element of creating wealth. So having a system and having a system that organises your, your actual money, regardless of how much it is, is one of those elements. Another one of the elements of creating wealth is your reason and the reason why you want to have wealth, mm. right? Because that's we're talking about a reason, this vision, this, this dream that we want to achieve. Unless we know what we're going to do with the money, mm-hmm. why would the money show up, mm-hmm. right? And the truth about it is we all know what we want to do with the money because mm-hmm. we all know that oh, we've got to keep ourselves fed, we've got to keep ourselves clothed, we've got to get the kids through school. But if that's the limit of what you want to achieve, then that's the limit of the amount of money you'll get to be able to achieve that certain lifestyle. Correct. The greater your reason, the greater your dream, the greater your vision, the then more money can will come to you. Because unless right. you have a reason that is big enough, money won't show up. That's right. So, <laughs> so the next thing is then you have to have a reason. reason. So here's the other thing. The amount of money that people have in their bank account will tell you how big the reason is mm. now. So when you look at a person's lifestyle, their bank account, you know, people go to me, but I want more money. But it's like the universe is trying to give you money, but you haven't given it a reason big enough to yeah. give you money. Yes. So your reason has to be really clear and your reason. So your reason must be greater than you and it must be of service to life and service to humanity. So people who have money, they have a big reason to be alive. They have a big reason to have money. Look at any of them. They all have a big reason and a big call to be alive. Mm. Does that make sense? And if you don't have that big calling, that big reason, that big why, it just can't. And and, uh, we say the word big. Right, but we don't mean that it has to take over the world. Yeah, we don't mean it has to be immense. I it mean, means that it has to be greater than your where you're at now. It has so, to and, be and, outside yeah. of that space. Yeah, and yeah. if you think about that, it's just about. And um, if, if you look at, uh, like Mark Zuckerberg, as we speak about often, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, as his reason grew, his vitality grew, and his wealth grew. You know, so yeah. so Mark Zuckerberg's reason was simply to make the, it, now it is to make the world a more connected place. That's it. Yeah. That's his whole reason. Yeah, everything he's built, his whole business, every person who's ever on Facebook has is on Facebook as a result of that one line, that one calling. Yes. So I think that's crazy. I, I think that's I think that's just. Awesome. I think it's cool. Um. So in in a in a sort of a more simplified sense, right? If I'm sitting here thinking, you know what, I'd like to build, um, uh, uh, I don't know, 
I'd like to I'd like to build houses. I'd like to grow my wealth. I'd like to get more in my life. But yeah. it's a very wishy washy. It doesn't have any yeah. foundation to it, yeah. right? It doesn't mean anything. No, nobody's. It's not going to inspire you, right? But if you've got, let's say, in your life, you know people who could really use housing or could really use um, uh, clean water or could really use yep. something, you know, and you, you know that in you building more wealth, you're yep. going to be able to house children, let's sure. say, that haven't been housed and that you're going to give them an education and you're going to be able to um, uh uh, feed them, you know, nutritious food and give yep. them clean water, etc. And this is a like it's a cause that really touches your heart. As soon as you talk about that and you think about that, it's something that's inspiring to you. It's a vision that's greater than you. Yeah. You will do whatever you can to go and achieve that. Yeah. Does and that make sense? I, I, I totally agree. And and the other thing is um it, it you can I mean it's that's still quite a but, but you can pull that back. Yeah. You know, your your reason may be that, you know, you're a plumber and you just want to teach 10 apprentices within their lifetime how to become a really excellent plumber. Yes. You know, that's just as novel a cause. Absolutely. As Mark Zuckerberg's cause. Absolutely. But the point is, is that it is a reason. And Does it's and sense? it's greater than yourself in the sense yeah. that it, it serves the wider yeah. community to a degree. Yeah. And it's not just limited to your own space. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So... So you. So, 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 so like I've often stood in audiences. You've seen me do this. I've stood in an audience and I've gone, <clears throat> "What do you do?" Somebody tell me something that they do, and someone yeah. will go, oh, 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 I'm, a, "I'm a real estate, estate agent. agent," and I'll go, "No, you're not a real estate agent. You give a person a home. You give a person, you know, a sense of self because your home represents your sense of self. You give a person a reason, a, a sense of security, something to work towards. That's what you do. Yeah. Now, when you say that to a person, they sit back and they go. I never God, thought about it. I like never that. thought about it like that because people, you know, they're not. If you can't declare your reason to the world, how do you expect the world to accept your reason yes. or to pay for it? Yes, you know what I mean. So the universe is going. Declare your reason. Tell me your reason, and I'm going to give you more. And so, as soon as you <clears throat> are clear with the reason, money starts to come to you because people start to want to know about what is it that yeah. you're doing. How is it that I can uh, participate in this? How can I assist? So you actually draw more people to you. You draw more resources. You draw more finances. You draw more time. You draw all of these things to you when your reason is great enough. So having a strategy is super important, but having a reason is just as important in terms of creating wealth. And then intertwined with all of them because you can't have one of these things and create wealth or two of these things and create wealth. You have to have all three. You also have to sort out what's going on inside of you because if your perception of yourself and your thoughts, so your thoughts about yourself is that I'm not worthy, I don't deserve, I'm not good enough, I, um, uh, I'm not valuable in some way, it doesn't matter how good your reason is or how great your strategy is, you're never going to get wealthy to the degree that you is possible for you because you have got a thought that's, um, pulling you back that that says I'm not that I'm yeah. not deserving of that so to to bring wealth into your life you have to have all those three elements you have to sort out the the stuff that's going on in your mind and you have to get that you are truly deserving yeah. you have to have a reason that's greater than you and you have to be able to run a system that is your system to show that you are organised and all of those things actually intertwine with one another because yeah, yeah, yeah. as soon as you start yeah. doing one, it starts to assist you to do all the others. Does that make sense? As soon as you get clear with your reason, it's like, well, why am I letting myself and the way I think about myself stand yeah. in the way? Yeah, so what's, what, what are the thoughts that are running me. me deep down that are making that have been getting in the way? So you, you have to be really, really... Your, your thoughts have to be congruent with the person that you actually want to be. Yes, that's a good way to say so, it. So your thoughts have to be, and when, what I mean by that is, is is they have to be aligned with the person that you want to be and and you have to think like the person that you want and to be. And what that means is... is and like, you've got to deal with the stuff that's stopping you from thinking like the person that you want to be. Absolutely. So if you're thinking, mm. like, I want to be someone who is wealthy and deserving, but I'm sitting here going, 
I'm not enough yeah. and is my, you know, am yeah. I tall enough, am I smart enough, am I wise, yeah. you know, et cetera, then it's never going to work. It has to be in alignment. It has to be congruent. Yeah, yeah. and, I, and I, I always refer back to this movie because I love it, but we're getting back to the, to the Wizard of Oz where she first meets the wizard and he goes, who are you? And he's yelling at her, who are you? And she steps up and goes, I'm the small, small. and meek. I'm Dorothy the I'm small. I'm Dorothy the small and meek. And, and then the heart comes forward and, 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 you know, nearly cries and then the line passes out. So she didn't know who she, she was, was at yeah. That moment until she the wasn't time. integrated yeah. in herself, and, and yeah. so you've got to integrate with the person that you want to be. You yeah. got to, you got to, you got to act like the person that you want to be. You yeah. know, you, you you've got to be there, but you can't. The other thing is that you can't act it. If you have a, a a dominating thought inside of yourself that says you're no good, you're useless, you're stupid. Who do you think you are? You know, or you come from a lineage of that stuff where you know you've picked those thoughts up along the way because daddy thought that way, or yeah. mommy thought that way, or auntie thought that way, or school teacher. Thought. If you've if you've allowed if you, if you haven't contemplated your thoughts you're at the mercy of someone else's thoughts of you absolutely you know if you haven't contemplated and, and contemplated how you think about how you think yes you know it, it, you i can guarantee if you're talking to richard branson he has a very clear view of who he is as a human being yeah you know he thinks about how he thinks yeah. Th does that make sense? Yeah. Anybody that we look up to has thought very deeply about how we think. Yeah. You know, you listen to the lyrics or words of any song. This is very a, a person, and we call them a superstar. You know, lyrics are you know <clears throat> are the way in which we think and we express our, how we're thinking, right? But your life, you know, it, 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 your 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 life is an expression of how you're thinking. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, your world, including the so like including what you bring to yourself, the the clothes that you wear, the money that you earn, all of those things. It's an expression of how you're yeah, thinking well, your, your about yourself. Your thoughts, your thoughts are the music. Your your world is the symphony. You know, that's right. that's that's what you have to understand. Yeah. Is that is is tomorrow the greatest example of how you think so now so i i suppose um i want to finish up by just kind of saying that the point well, of discussing the point of discussing all of this was um really to say at the end of the day it doesn't matter who you are what you've got you can actually have more but mm. it just starts somewhere mm. and it starts by you know, you taking charge of the way you think. You yeah. taking taking charge of what is it that I want to achieve and, and the reason that you... But can I just say something there? Because I know people will be sitting there going, okay, I'm going to take charge of how I think, but how do I take charge of how I think? Well, I think it's about starting to think about how you're thinking. In yeah, in terms of that aspect, that's absolutely... Think yeah. about how you're yeah. thinking. Is it, you know, are you are you so clear what you're thinking that you would gladly plug two speakers into your ears and broadcast into the world what's going on inside of your mind? Yeah, that too. And how you speak to yourself. Yeah. And if if you're not okay with that, well, then you got to do something about it. Mm. Yeah. You got to have a look at what you're doing with your finances. You've got to organize your system. Well, that's what, and that's the, then that's what <laughs> I was going to come to at the end is that at the as like importantly, the first place that most people can start because. That's almost like it's the most tangible mm. is starting with that organization and actually starting to organize it and you be in charge of organizing your finances. You know, I noticed that when people do that, it automatically challenges how they think. Absolutely. That's, that's my point because as soon as they start doing that, everything else starts yeah. to fall back from that. They're like, well, that why am I thinking? Point, and you just took my point. Why am I thinking that I can't have this? That's right. Exactly. That's right. Cool. Cool. Okay, double punch, too slow. <laughs> You're an ink of, you were driving me crazy in there. Where? That, in, in that, in that in podcast. <laughs> I think you tried to get them to cut it at one point. I, I was, I was I'm like, oh my God.